Kind of more the mayor. Premium <laughs> Products Podcast. <laughs> Chill, I'm not that guy. Boy the mayor. <laughs> Boy the mayor. No, I'm not. Oh shit. I'm not musty. <laughs> <laughs> you can Boy just the see the man. Musty, the, you can man. see the dirt on that nigga. <laughs> well, welcome to the Premium Products Podcast. <laughs> Oh, girl didn't even want to accept flowers from... All right, go ahead. Let's go. Start off. This is the regular episode. Yeah. What I think you might be referring to is over at our favorite website, patreon.com slash the PPP. We're doing our movie club where we talk about uh, this week, do the right thing. Uh Spike Lee joint. Uh, a Spike Lee joint. They had no fades. Yeah. No fades. No, nah, they <laughs> definitely had no fades. But no, nah, go ahead. Let's let's continue. Anyway, I don't think your mic is on. My mic's on. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. I just been deadly quiet. I'm just stupid. Um, <laughs> go through housekeeping. Is your mic on? It's on now. Okay. If you're not going to talk, just keep it off. You're good then. I was just making sure. Uh, we got a live studio audience today. Isn't that great? What What do y'all think out there in the live studio audience? That's, oh, yeah. That shit's hilarious. That uh, shit is hilarious. Round of applause, man. Thank y'all. Play the uh, live studio uh, audience when we're talking about the murals. <laughs> I shall. Uh, anyway, we had a uh, poll, uh, which uh, Josh is referring to. I guess we should, I don't know, say our names. I don't, we don't ever really do that, I guess. My name's Brandon, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> fucked up. Brandon. I mean, they just messed up everything right there. <laughs> We going with fake names? Hey, hey, but, but he just—he already said my name. He was like Josh referred to, yeah. you know. So, I mean, we right. say our names like just talking, but I guess, yeah. Moy, Moy the mayor, <laughs> Moy the mayor, <laughs> Mister Highlight no, himself. No, I am drinking a Highlight though for the movie. Yeah, uh, but yeah, we got a Patreon. We do bonus episodes. They're not on movie clubs, but. uh we do one once a month. Tell them. Uh, follow us on Patreon. Follow, follow us. Month. We can see who subs and can't, who doesn't. We can't so. say it's a pack of Rillos anymore. No liar. Yeah. We got to say something. Yeah, it's cheaper than a pack of Rillos. It's cheaper than a pack of Rillos, guys. Cheaper than a pack of Rillos. No, you're rolling man. up right now. Rolling Think up that Spike Lee joint. You, <laughs> Spike Lee. you could be listening to two episodes a week instead of one. Exactly. For whatever reason, you'd want to do that. We did get some, but uh, we did get a new subscriber, though. Yeah, we'll get into it. Yeah, and our Twitter is at the underscore PPP, PPP. underscore. Instagram's Premium Products, Products Podcast. Podcast. We do Instagram polls occasionally now. Yeah, we I might mean, do. We got pretty good engagement, so we might do another sneaker battle. We'll get into it. Uh, was that were, was it before or during? Before. Okay. So do y'all want to get into it now? Yeah, might as well. Uh, sure thing. We got the not. results for yeah, last go. week's. Uh, we recently had the poll. The results Excuse of the, the poll is on the board. I can't see the board, but there's a board. There's a board. You can't see that? No, I'm saying people who are listening. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There's a board. We I've uh, tallied the results up. So... Just on background, if you're new, like our new subscriber on Patreon, like our new sub on Page, Page, uh, we had a contest over the Reese Cooper Merrills mob, <coughs> Moab. What he said, uh, look, he told me it was Wolverine. I thought you meant Wolverine for Wolverine skin. No, <laughs> at no, first no, no, I was no. like, wait, no, I think Wolverine he's the is the parent company, the ones that owns the boots, the work boots. Yes, Wolverine work boots also owns Merrill and Saucony. Fire, 
but they apparently make a very good Harry suede that they sell to New Balance and other companies. And it is the same Harry suede on these nice Reese Cooper narrows. Go ahead, Colin. Anyway, you said uh, you thought the uh, gallery department Vans XLT uh, was a fire shoe to which I said, no, those look like you are a mental patient. <laughs> and I said uh, the Murrows look like some Walmart race car shoes. Well, more people said those actually look like Walmart race car shoes. I wouldn't it. say that's not. Let's add some context there. But I believe... Uh, because Moy called them the guy, the guy Fieri's. The guy Fieri. Yeah, the guy Fieri's. <laughs> Everything, come on, man. It looks like this shirt. Oh, damn, I was about to ask you my drink. It's a very <laughs> bad like, shoe. Like, bro, I can say the same about the Murrows. I guess, but like, uh, don't be biased here. It's a bad shoe. These, like, at least have something going on. What? Like, what is the design behind the gallery department thing? What you mean? Like they it's, like flame. It's, it's just like <laughs> nigga, it's a fucking collaboration. Like damn. they look bad. The shoe itself yeah. is not bad. But go ahead, you know, go ahead. I mean, I don't think the XLT is bad. I think the just flames on it and the zebra fur are fucking horrible. We can agree to disagree. But uh, we did a poll, and uh, I put it up early in the morning. Uh. Try to keep it a pretty non-biased poll. You uh, kind of said last week you didn't really care about this at all, right? I didn't care about what? Like the results of the poll. I didn't really, but I was just like, put it up there. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, you didn't get, like really care at all? I, like, no, I really didn't. Like, just put it up there. You didn't tell people to go vote for it at I, all? No, I went to the, I went to the uh, fucking... Um, I went to our Instagram on there and I seen who it was. Well, she was right there when we was voting and seeing it was right there. I was telling her about it. She was praying. She was like, what are y'all talking about? I showed her and then she voted. Well, very early in the morning. That's uh, the only person. We noticed a lot of people that did not follow the uh, account voting in favor of the the vans okay because i posted up on my motherfucking shit uh i did not see a single post sharing it what do you mean i didn't see any post sharing the thing the van post yeah put it up when i shared what i didn't we didn't i didn't see any posts. so how how did jmo know about it well jmo knew about it because once i got off work i was like oh this motherfucker is just telling people to go vote for it no not at all so, did you tell your all your kids to go vote for it? Because there was that one point they where the there. Merrills were winning by a large margin, and then all your kids started voting for it. Not all my kids, only one kid and his friends. Okay, and That's then... Out of context. Because like I said, I was there in the house, and there was a big deal. All of a sudden, they was like, what are you talking okay. about? What you said, okay for? I'm telling you the truth. I don't just be like, hey, bro. I like what you like. I like, like, here, look at it. Tell so from friends, my side of it. Like. Kids like the fucking shoe. I checked it. Check it. It seemed like every time Meryl was up, there'd be a ton of motherfuckers that did not follow the page that just started voting for it for some so reason. So how did it? Okay, so that does that goes both ways. Because when the Mer- when those was up, Merrill goes up. So how did that well, work? Well, when I got off work, I just sent it to like everybody in my recent uh, messages. And I was just like, hey, go vote for this. I didn't tell them. The difference between me and you, I didn't tell them to, vo- I didn't tell them to vote for the vans. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't care. That's, that's the difference. And then... People can do whatever they want. I, I, just, really I just put it out I'm there. just campaigning. I just put it out there because I was just like... In like, the videos I just made, I didn't tell them what to vote. You just said you did. No, I didn't. I just said, hey, do this. I'm trying to beat Josh. Vote for the Merrills. Do what you want. Well, I had like feedback coming back to me. It was like... Because whatever JMO sent, because he sent it to 
Mr. Shits His Pants. But, uh... Damn. Damn. Uh... What are we talking about? Oh... Uh, so it could go from like you could say that I sent this to people, but people could send. I can tell people one thing, and then they could send it to different other people, and that doesn't have anything to do with me. Well, hey, I'm just saying the people I sent it to followed my page back. And you don't think I? What's it? What is you saying? I'm just what? saying if you ask people to vote, hey, maybe ask them to follow the page too and get us some support. So you saying I didn't? Well. I have here the poll results, and we can break it down. <laughs> he's saying he's saying I did it. Like I got some subscribers, and I got niggas listening to the podcast now, and shit. We can break it down. <laughs> so the most the vans got forty nine percent of the vote. Oh, look at this! How how did that happen when the Moy- Merrills got fifty one percent? Hey, Moy, didn't you tell me? Then, didn't you say that the Vans had the most votes? Dak did. <laughs> All right, we're back. I apologize. I unplugged the record. <laughs> I was redacted. Your point, sir? I don't even remember. What was the question again? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I remember. The Shit. Question. But would you like to read a message from uh, your brother that we had a conversation about? Uh, Kayvon. Yeah. What did he say? Damn, how you, you was talking to him about the shit? Yeah, because I don't know any of the people that were voting. I was just like, I, I don't know who any of these people are. And then I saw him, but he I didn't, didn't he didn't, didn't follow the page. So I, I didn't, messaged him. I didn't know he voted. He did. For the Vans. See, look, he said it. He said, he, he bro, said Josh, you didn't. You said, you said, did Josh tell you? He's like, nah, Joel sent it to me. Yes. So there you go. I didn't tell people to go vote. Oh, for fucking oh okay. What the fuck? How you just going to say, how you going to put me in that? He's, That's all I need. Thank you, sir. What oh, who's Joel? His kid. Oh, Juju? See, he, uh, uh, it, look. I was on him as Juju. Nah, this is the but older. I mean, was, oh, the other one? Yeah, yeah he's he's in uh, middle school. So, okay. uh, this is a message. Colin, bro, be honest. Did Josh Terry go vote in the poll on, uh, on IG? Nah, Joel sent it to me on IG. Thank you. That's all I need, sir. What happened? Colin, Josh hates my marrows, but like those god awful vans we <laughs> talked about on the podcast at Josh Tabarro. But we did a poll on IG because he claimed more people would like the vans. I made the poll and instantly he had like eight votes and they I'm were all from second one before the- accounts that only follow him. So me and Moy suspected he was asking people to vote for him. I wouldn't say he was telling people to do that. It was more persuading them to like like that i wouldn't pick those mirrors though for sure it's just he's he's a kid so of course he said he would have picked those mirrors for sure it's just he's a kid so of course they'll like the vans more that's why i picked them yeah so he was telling people to vote for them and then we got like dms to the account being like why would we vote for these these look awful i didn't see i only seen one person on the account well a What's his name was initially, but then some random person, and then I was like, "Hey, who sent this to you?" And then they didn't respond. Yeah, I seen you seeing that. Yeah, yeah, man. What? I told uh, you. I showed I think, she was there in the house. I think we were at try- the time. There was a fair election that could have been had, and then one side started being persuaded. Okay, well let's 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 bring up your shit. You read this to me. <laughs> Well, I only started after all the other votes. So, do you send this? Shit? Once people started like oh, send, shit. sending shit Don't. and like nah. promoting one side, right. I said, "Hey, I'll like start campaigning for the uh, Merrills." Right. Merrill one trail. Hey, you send re- me some shit. I'll, boy, I'll boy, fucking boy, sell boy, the shit out. Boy, read this for me. Hey, can you vote for the Merrills in this? I'm trying to beat Josh. Yeah, why would I think, why would I vote against my own cousin? LMAO, do what you want. I don't, I don't really give a shit. Again, oh, phone. he said, why would I vote for my cousin? And instantly I said, I don't really give a shit. Do what you want. You just said, do what you want. I just said, do what you want. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. And then... 
Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. So, do you want your total votes? 36. How, how do you do total votes? I can pull it up. Damn, that's a lot. That yeah. is a lot. Good job, guys. Well, that's it. That's the van's total votes. Okay. Oh, okay. Not total overall. Oh, damn. From your 36 votes, we gained nine follows. Nice. And zero new Patreon subs. Bro, I got I got one. He listened to it. Well, then he's somehow scamming the podcast. Cause... Well, no, nah, he ain't listen to the Patreon. He has the uh, podcast. Well, yeah, he listens to the podcast. That's not paying for the Patreon. Right, right, right. I told him it was a dollar, though. So, the Merrills got 38 votes. Okay. Yeah, how much is that in total? 68. 14 IG follows. 72 okay. people. That's crazy. And one Patreon sub. Okay. Shout out my boy, L.E.R. I'm just impressed with the 72 votes. Yeah, that's yeah. hard. And then the new follows, too. I'm impressed by that. I haven't done shit. This makes me feel like I haven't done a damn thing. One sub. <laughs> damn. Shit, I need to take up my game. I honestly thought you was going to leave it on there for 24 hours. But you said... I, I did, basically. You left for, You said people it was don't vote. at midnight. Yeah, people don't vote after midnight. We barely get like traffic. We didn't get really. It wasn't twenty four hours because we didn't get really any traffic after, uh, uh, like seven p.m. It was that at seven p.m. and then it didn't change at midnight. So, and it I let it go till like, to be truthful, I let it go till one, and then we got another vote for the mayorals. So mm -hmm. it was like we got thirty nine votes. And I just capped it. That's crazy. Yeah, that is. 74 votes. 74 votes. That's good. And then how many is that? 20, 23 new followers? Growing. But, but th that's the thing, though. Some of the people that uh, voted, they was like, some people picked the Merrills. I was like, okay. It was like, I like that. My, yeah, si my I sister even said it. She was like, I like the... Uh, she voted for the Merrill. She was like, she liked the uh, the beige and orange pair better than the yeah. Vans. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Like I said, I wasn't biased. I wasn't telling people to pick the Vans. I just put it up there. I'll I don't find, know. I I need to find a shoe that I like that y'all don't like. I still haven't found it. It was a lot of good engagement though. I yeah. would like to do more like sneaker battles overall. Though. Yeah, if it's bringing in people in. We're getting just 23 followers every time. So it's fun. We can do one. It's a little behind the scenes, I guess, for y'all. But again, Merrill reigns supreme. Got a new pair of Reese Coopers on the way. You take it, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I got to slow down my shoe buying. <laughs> same. I, I, after the, uh, uh, the bodegas I didn't get, Yeah. yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm done until November. November? Yeah, because I can save up plenty of money. Right. I mean, I have money saved up, but I feel like I have nothing planned for October except Halloween. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep it like that. Mm. Well, let's get into fit check since we're done with the poll results. I'll go first. Yeah, that's the poll results. Again, follow us on IG, Premium Product Podcast. Yeah, make sure y'all follow that. By the way, question. Do you know how long we were in the other one? That's how long Yeah, we were in. only like... Uh, like 10 minutes, 10 right? minutes in. Okay. But, uh... I'm, I'm wearing... Yeah, we're either going to have lost that completely and nobody's going to know what we're talking about. Or, uh... It, it will be spliced together and it will be fine. Yeah. But either or. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm wearing the T500 ALD New Balance in the red colorway. Nice. Wild cream and red. 
Just some basic Nike socks. Levi's 551s. If you're a bigger guy, you got bigger thighs, these are the right shoe, the right pants. Bigger and the bigger. And the thigh area tapers down an ankle. Those hoes are hard. I yeah. was gonna ask you about them. Like what length are those? Uh this is a I'm a this is a thirty two length. Nice. I, I use, could tell. I use thirty two or thirty four. Yeah. Depending. If I'm wearing boots, I wear thirty fours. Right. But shoes I like to show off like the whole shoe. Same. So I wear like a thirty two. And hard. Uh, um Oh, and then a Secret Club t shirt that's a Yu Gi Oh and Prada. That's a market. Mix. Yeah. Yeah. So I got this, and then that's it, pretty much. This is one of my favorite shirts. Yeah, that's hard. The nerds oh, love it. That. Like, hard. is that a real Prada? And I'm playing with them. Yeah, it is. <laughs> when did they do that? Oh, man. Come on. Yu Gi Oh's popping. Yeah, y'all, hey. y'all out the loop. Yeah, no, this is like a few years ago, man, when Yu Gi Oh, during COVID, I tell them. Damn. That's when it, ha- when it happens when the. Card wave got real big during COVID, uh-huh. and then market made a sh- made a shirt with the the Ma- Yu Gi Oh medallion, yeah, and then Prada in the middle. Gotcha. Looks fine. Gotcha. It's one of my favorite shirts. Oh well, I have on a uh, Royal Caribbean hoodie from uh, two years ago. From a, actually really? last year for vacation last year on the cruise. Cozy. What's their slogan? What? Royal Caribbean. It's like a little anchor. No, but what's their slogan? I don't know. Their slogan. I don't know. I don't, don't they remember. have like some type of slogan? I don't remember. Can't I was it. fucked up on the ship. <laughs> Free drinks. Uh, Royal Caribbean, we go places. It's something like that, yeah. Uh, Nike sweats, uh, Storm Blue, uh, Air Jordan Ones. When did those uh, release? Like 2016, I think. Oh, damn. 17, one of those. That's crazy. Damn, the shoe does not look bad for its age. Yeah. And you, Colin? Uh, I am rocking the Reese Cooper Merrells. Again, what? back to back. Oh, my gosh. You about to go hiking? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to go to the club. You about to like ride the short bus with uh. your uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have a on. I'm not in those short bus shoes, skateboarding shoes, no, to be exact. No, nah, those are the skateboard shoes that the like nah. they put on the like kid in the wheelchair. They're like, see, you can, you're kind of like the skaters too. Nah, bro, those are like half your heads, missing. motherfucking. Like, <laughs> why is that to be half your head? Fucking, you go to Walmart, you just get some shoes to work in, type shit. Right. That would be your that, shoes. Those would be those. No, you they would be you your will, shoes. You would not see vans. Yes, you would. You would see type, those type of vans on the like Walmart. painter dudes. You would not see those at Walmart. You will see those yes, kind would. of shoes. You at would see Walmart fucking sure. chunky ass like you see, non-specific shoes with flames on them. You're at not Walmart. gonna see everybody wearing hiking shoes. First of all, with these colors and these premium materials, you would not see these. You would not see those. On the street, they you wear Walmart's those. got nothing like you wear those out. They're gonna be like, you either gonna get no response or they're gonna be like, what the hell you got on, bro? Like, what what you doing right now? Where you going? What we doing right now? Huh? What we doing? We about to? Go. I just need to see the vans in person. <laughs> to be I, I know. I was like, we don't got the vans. If it's just person. paint, if it's just a painted shoe on it. With with fucking Z. Morris yeah. said, Morris said I should get them. I was like, I planned you on it. Better get it. But them. they're not out. So yeah, they're not out. That is true. So they have not been released yet. So you released. cannot get them. And they them. don't even have a release date yet. So yeah. But I you also said they were it. more fire than the dimes too. I didn't say that. You did. You were like, I'd rather get them Go over ahead. the dimes. I did say that. I didn't say they were more fire, but I said I would. But I didn't. I did say if. I was going to get a shoe that wouldn't be the first shoe I get too. So okay, well, I mean, you at the same I mean, time, I'd fucking rather have a pair of the fucking Air Mags than these. But I bought these. Like you could say that about any fucking shoe. No, nah, I get some. This Jordans. wasn't my like, like first. I'm not choice, about to spend but... like twenty five thousand dollars on some Air Mags if I if I had the money. Right, but like if you could get any fucking shoe, like... I didn't say if I can get any shoe, bro. Context. I was said if I was getting the next shoe, the 
probably wouldn't be the next shoe I get. I'll probably get like some OG Jordans or something. But yeah. These drop. They were fire. They were all right. They were fire to you. Two out of three of this podcast would say they were fire. Two out of three? Yeah. I like those more shoes. More like them. Yeah, more like them. That's cool. I like those shoes. That's cool. But, you know, how I grew up where I'm, you know, kind of culture where I'm around, they's like, nah, them not it, bro. Yeah. Louisiana. It's not. Real it's not. I have, what the hell? How you bring up Louisiana? I mean, you were just saying your culture and where you came from. I said where I said where how I grew up or where I grew up. I grew up Louisiana and Texas. So. Right, both places. No hiking. Blow place. Yeah, you're not gonna see none of my friends. Like, like I said, I always want to go hiking. Never been hiking. But if you did go, you'd wear what? Like Jordan ones? Shit, whatever I'm in at the time. I wear some Air Max. Or Bro, come on now. Why would the fuck I wear some Air Max to go hiking? I don't know. That don't even make sense. I wouldn't wear those. How, how about that? I'd rather wear these. <laughs> More sturdy. I wouldn't wear those. How about that? More sturdy. I would say maybe go half a size down if you plan on buying some Merrill. I don't plan on it. You don't fuck with Merrill at all? I, this that, is completely swayed. Fucking shoe. This is completely. Well, I, I just said if you, you plan on buying some Merrills, go down a size. I think that's across all, uh, or go down a half size. That's cool. But, like, if I was going hiking, I know I'd weigh out my options. That went, I don't know. Do I have Maybe. That? I don't know. Maybe I would, but I don't I've know. I've hiked in Patrick Ewing's. I hiked in some, what, what I have on? I had some Vans. I had some Vans on. <laughs> that I had some Vans on. Horrible. I was in Fort Collins. There's nothing protecting the. I didn't, I, I didn't like really that. go hiking. I just like went up this like trail to go look over, see, look over the mountains or whatever. So I wouldn't consider it hiking. Really. That's basically hiking. Just, Bro, just going up and. Yeah, hiking. What do you think hiking is? Hiking uh, is walking like doing a whole trail. No. Just going. No, that's like that's like if you taking it to the, you know. Yeah. Up here, we're not we're not talking about up here. We're not them yeah. type of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, that was a four. I'm not about to walk. I'm not about to do. Two, no, these buy are some shoes these are exactly the, what for you, a ten minute walk. These are exactly what you did. Like a said, you did that. Yeah. Why, why would I spend two hundred dollars for a ten minute walk? I don't know. Maybe do that it more times sense. than just once. That don't make sense to me. That's inconvenient. I've never been anywhere that was a 10-minute walk. Like, 10-minute walk. Do you play basketball every day? I don't. Then why do you buy, a, like, a basketball shoe? Because they're lifestyle shoes. That's been, that's in the culture. Exactly. Like, man, come on. That, that, that you, ain't, you ain't winning with that. That's not an argument. Hiking shoes have, like, builds and shit to it, but. Basketball shoes, you can't. That shit's been in lifestyle sneaker. Jerry Seinfeld, do he play basketball? He oh, had man. Jordans on and all his shit. Oh uh, yeah, okay. He's probably paid. make it make sense. He's well, wearing I mean, it with casual wear, right? But like they Everybody's were probably paid by it. Nike to like promote shoes, so they just gave Jerry free shoes. That's why he would wear them for sure. Nah, he likes to. He actually liked those shoes. I'm sure he did. He got but, a nice sneaker collection. Right, but they just gave him shoes. Nike, like, is that true? Yeah. Anytime you see like that, like a product or something on a show, it's because the company's paying for that product to be on there. They're not just like, oh fuck yeah. So they pay free money. They pay Macaulay Culkin that too. For sure. Nah. He, yes. just, he just had it on. He had Jordan C. Like, all the little stars that came out on the movies, they did not just Do you not think, like, there's costume people in Hollywood that are not connected in with Nike and stuff? I'm just saying, just no context to that. We don't have no true facts of saying Macaulay Culkin got paid for wearing Jordans. Because that's not the only shoes he was wearing. I don't think, it's not like he gets, like, a check for wearing them. Okay, but, the but he studio, likes them. The studio gets paid, like, has a deal with Nike where Nike like like it's advertising basically by putting their products in movies. Bro, that's not right. That's not true cuz I mean for it, sure might, true. it might it might be true but Jordan that's but Jordan true. specifically was a big icon figure at the time. Everybody likes Jordan. So everybody's wearing Jordan because they like Jordan, not because Nike's pushing it. Everybody likes Jordan. 
if it's in a movie, like there was like deals made for them to be able to do that. Otherwise, they wouldn't have that product. In the I movie. don't believe that. People literally just like Jordans. He's, you're saying it like they don't like just wear the shoe just because they don't because Nike's paying them to do it. If they, it's like a, they're wearing the shoe because they like the shoe. Jordan's a big iconic figure. Every, I think I everybody think what, likes what's going Jordan. On is that he's talking specifically in the movie? You're just talking about the no. Life. I'm saying and like. Because in the movies, they do... Costumes. Like, like costumes yeah. or like, you know, it's whatever they have. But in their normal life, they probably are wearing that. But he's yeah, for sure. Specifically, but like specifically. in the movie, for sure, they're getting like... That's a deal worked out by like Nike and whatever studio put out that movie. And that, uh, and that doesn't go for no other shoe. That goes for every shoe. Yeah, it depends it on It goes with everything shoe. in the costuming. But every I brand, like... every item in that movie... Anytime you see somebody holding a can of Coca Cola, any type of beer they're holding, that's like a brand deal. Like they like like made that deal with them. So you saying Jerry? So if he that's were, why you if see he didn't fucking get, if Vin Nike Diesel didn't... drinking fucking Corona in Fast and Furious movies, you're like, it's not because he's like that's on, like a sponsor. That, but we're that's not... what I'm talking. about. It's basically the same thing, but they do that with every item. I don't. Anytime you see a like big brand shot of an item, they paid for that. I uh, I I have to, we can agree to disagree, but we I can. I mean, we it's can, a for sure. I mean, thing, I know bro. it's a thing, but some but Jordans. I feel like that that's that. I mean, people go could Jordans. like them all. I it, I guarantee you, it does. I don't feel like that. That's go how for Jordan Jordans. like became like a fucking millionaire. Fucking. Uh, What's it? Space Jam was a fucking commercial for Jordan. Jordan's in the fucking movie. Yeah, you think he was just like like not getting money from his company for every person like on there and every fucking like you think every person on there wasn't rocking like Nike and Jordan stuff and like they were you getting paid. You can't use that movie because Jordan's in the fucking. It's a Jordan movie. Right, but that's what I'm saying. That's the best example of it because it's just an ad for Jordan the whole movie. But every other movie, it's just smaller ads. It's not as prominent. Okay. Like I said, I, I don't disagree that they do do that. But Jordan's outside, like Jordan's is an iconic cultural figure. And they're going to wear it because they like Jordan. Like people just like really like Jordan. Like, it's not because it's just basketball. They don't wear it just because they want to go play basketball. They wear it because they like Jordan. And that's that's true to that. I mean, I guess, but you can't really go to a movie and just be like, I like wearing my clothes for this set. So you don't think Jonah Hill didn't do that? No, I don't. I think they have a wardrobe. I think they have a wardrobe department and they kind of like go out and they have these deals with these companies for these movies. I feel like Jonah Hill, where would it where would he want it? They have a wardrobe department for sure. Like just go look at the credits. I mean, they the, could like put it in the contract where they he could you can the actor could wear what they want. Right. But that's a whole different thing. Yeah. Right. It's like And you know, like if they have deals with like these companies, like like if Travis was in a movie wearing Nike, then yeah, he probably just came to that movie wearing it. But he has a deal with Nike, so that's it works. Like standard, that like he has to wear that. I hear you. I hear you. It's just like why? Like I don't. But you brought up the fact like you wear basketball shoes. You play basketball. I'm just saying in the concept of the movies, though, like they for it's for sure like a deal. But like that's maybe. where the that conversation started. Yeah. Like I said, he agreed. I mean, I agree with you on some points, but I feel like outside of Jordan, that's it's been like too many. Like, they wear the shoes outside the fucking movie. They wear the shoes, and then they wear well, the shoes outside the, the movie. personal actor's choice. But, like, within the movie, like, and then, like, if you see them on, like, interviews and stuff, they might have a deal where they have to be, like, in the shoe on camera. Like, if it's, like, part of the thing. But for the most part, costuming is like all... Jason Sudeikis, he wears Jordans in all his fucking movies. 
And right. I don't see him. He, I don't know if he has a deal or anything, but there's he said like an actual story he about he likes like, Jordans. He right, literally there's has like a an, collection. There's before, an actual thing about before like, he got famous, he had shit. Yes, but you can then now go look. There is like document, like a documentary or whatever. Documentary. Look, little mini doc about uh, Ted Lasso and his sneakers on that. And they got a deal with fucking Nike. I'm saying before that, he's made, he had shit before that. He was wearing Jordans before that. Right. I'm sure he likes them. But whenever he, like, in, whenever you see him on camera, he's not wearing, like, his fucking, like, nice ass Jordans and stuff. They're still Jordans. It's like, okay. That's... But, like, that's his, like, stuff. Whenever you see him on camera in the his shoes roles. he wears in the movie, he wears outside the movies. What was like he wearing Jordan, in the movie? Like, Jordan ones. He wears in what Jordan, example? Like, let in Ted Lasso, which I just said he got a Nike deal for. Mm, 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 mm. I don't think I've ever seen Ted Lasso. It's okay. I know people like to like shit on it, but what Ted Lasso? Yeah, I haven't seen it, but it's I wanted fine. to because I like I like Jason Sudeikis. He's Sudeikis. He's hard. Sudeikis, however you want to say it. However you want to say it. I mean, it's just his name. Why are you looking that up? I'm going to go ahead. Do the sneaker releases. Uh, so for October 3rd, there is the 990 New Balance 990 V4 in the black and silver for $210. Uh it's part of uh, the Teddy Santa's Made in USA line. <clears throat> it releases on, uh, on NewBalance.com and select retailers for 210 It is in the black silver colorway. It is a mostly all black shoe with the uh, uh, midsole and out, midsole, the no, no stock New Balance color, uh, the gray. And... Just nine ninety, just a nine ninety, y'all. So I mean, it's a really pretty shoe. It's good quality, but it's just a nine ninety V four. So it's a nice shoe. December, I mean October third, for two hundred ten dollars if you want it. Next shoe I have is the New Balance Nike. I mean Nike Dunk Lows in the smoke gray. If you like Dunks, October third for one hundred and fifteen dollars on sneakers. Or Nike.com. Uh, a big shoe that's dropping on October 4th. It's a Stone Island New Balance 991 V2. Uh, Stone Island, big Italian luxury fashion brand. Did you come around on them? What you mean? They have... I thought you said you didn't like them at first. I never said that. I thought you did when you, I sent you the like darker image of it. Go look at it. I never said. I said I want to see some more. Uh, I said I want to see some more pics because they showed a teaser pick and you was like, I was like, I can't judge a shoe off a teaser pick. But you can go to the messages and see see what I said. I mean, I will since you just called me out. Uh, right. Yeah, I did. Because you always calling me out and you always I, wrong. You don't need to be so confrontational. <laughs> you just said they cool. They cool. I couldn't see the whole picture. Olive green, gray, black color. Mesh with tactile lat. lat Lattice metal and overlaid with numbook. Uh, very nice shoe. Everyone here agrees it's a very fire shoe. Stone Island, Stone Island stuff uh, is always top quality in my opinion. I've always fire. liked their stuff, but I just never was able to cop it. Uh, the outsole is translucent with the Stone Island logo on it. Uh, the pictures that they release when they announce it are fire. I like it doesn't have a patch. Yeah, I didn't like the patch on the other. One, the five seven four or whatever they yeah. did last. <clears throat> yeah. So this one again, October fourth. Uh, for uh, I don't think it has a price yet. <laughs> I would imagine it's like two two twenty something. I would 50, probably say two eighty. Two eighty. Damn. Uh, yeah, it's Stone damn, Island. That's a lot. Release will take. Island. Yeah, it's on uh, October fourth in all Stone Islands online all, all online stores and brick and mortar stores. Uh, it will, the release will take place in China on October 9th. Uh, a global release will take place on October 18th at new, on newbounds.com. 
So you can try first on October 4th at StoneIsland.com or the brick and mortar locations if you live close by a brick and mortar. Uh, next shoe, I don't know if this is a confirmed, but it says that uh, the Concepts New Balance 998 made in the USA in the C note, it releases this uh, the 5th for $220. C note, if y'all don't know what the C note is, it's a a retro of the one that came out ten years ago. That's that uh, concepts and, concepts and New Balance did, and this is to mark the thirtieth anniversary of uh of the C of the nine nine V eight and the tenth anniversary of the original drop of the C note. Um, October fifth for two hundred and twenty dollars on NewBalance.com. And concepts.com and their costumes concepts location in Boston and NYC. Uh, I like this shoe. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. I will try to get this shoe. Same. So we'll see how fast they'll fucking sell out, like they always do. Yeah. So if I get lucky, I'll get them. We'll have a live drop or not a drop update or cop update. My bad. Next shoe I have is the finally the release of the Dimes X Vans Rally XLT. I believe they kind of dropped already. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I think they dropped on the Dime website uh, s- yesterday. Yes. As of recording, but they're going to get a general release on October fifth. Fr- yeah, at your local skate shop, I believe. So. We talked about this shoe before. Very nice. It's a retro of a shoe that has been hasn't been the re-released in a while. Rally Pro Rally, Model yeah. XLT. Jeff Rally, longtime van skateboarder. Uh, then we have two colorways of the Ambush Nike Air More Up Tempo in the black and white and the Lilac. On October eighth for one hundred ninety dollars at Nike dot com. I like Snickers. the black and white ones. You do? Yeah, I do. It says October sixth. Yeah. Okay. It's classic color. And I like those. on October seventh, the Air Jordan six in the aqua colorway. Ugly. Uh, comes out for two twenty on October or two hundred for October seventh. Trash. Uh, Trash. I don't I, know why they did that shit. Yeah. I don't. Kind of bad. Boo. We all pretty much agree, no, this should not have been done. Nah, they should have just left that alone. Nike Air Max 2, CB94. Those are nice, but I don't know about that colorway. Yeah, but... that color, the Baroque brown. What's What the fuck's Baroque brown? I have some shoes with just Baroque brown, dark, but it just, just looks that... like a mocha to me. Yeah, it's the dark brown. I don't know. Definitely uh, like the shoe though, but the colorway is I don't I couldn't rock that colorway. Yeah. I mean, I probably I could pull anything off, but nah. Apparently not hiking shoes. I could pull it off if I wanted to, uh, but I just just not my type type of steez, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Next shoe is the you Air Jordan two. Low women's in the Chicago twist colorway for October seventh for one hundred and fifty dollars. No, no, this ain't for me. Uh, big Texas Tech type shoe. Oh no! Uh, yep, that's gonna be Raiders fans will love Ray this Raiders, shoe. Get your guns up! I like them, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't cop. No, I would never cop. Uh, October seventh, if you want to cop. Hundred and fifty dollars. Yep, it's the since it's Chicago twist. It's the white university red, black, and then the coconut milk is the midsole. Um, next shoe is the a Nike. A lot of shit coming out in October. Yeah, next shoe is the Nike Zoom Vomero Five, the light bone and medium olive colorway. Of uh, the Vomero Five is the pop is Nike's popular shoe this year. Yeah, and. Uh, this one comes out for $160 on uh, Nike.com. Um, if this was Volt instead of uh, Olive, these would be w- more clean to me. It's mute. It's kind of... I don't it's like... It's too mute. Yeah, it's very muted for me. Light bone, medium olive, neutral olive. Yeah. So, oh, but it will go great with the uh, Nike Air Max 1 medium olive. Mm. Coming out, I guess next week. Yep. So I would, I would maybe put uh, 
Those Romero's maybe coming out next week. Mm-hmm. No, it says the seventh. I think those are coming out first. Yeah, October seventh, four hundred sixty dollars. These release first on October seventh. Nike.com. I think this is gonna be the first one, and the next week's gonna be the next one. I think they're doing the line for medium or medium olive for the fall. Huh. Seems like that's what they're fall doing. Fall colors. Yeah. I would think they would do it as a pack. I guess you know. Apparently, they make more money without it being a pack. And that's all the sneaker drops I think I have for this week. Let's keep it pushing. Let's go to the announcements. The most recent announcement I have is a 2002 R Jound that's coming out soon. I saw that on uh, just right before we started recording. What do they look like? I feel like oh, it's the it's like kind of like a light grayish blue. I believe so. I can pull them out for you real quick. Yeah, those are fire. Here they are. I don't know if y'all seen them. Yeah, they straight. I like the recent colorway. I mean, I like the other colorways better, but they they cool. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, John put it out, so you know it's coming out soon. For it's it looks like it's uh. Fashion Week 23 or Fall Fashion, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. This is going to come out with their line, I guess. But yeah, I just saw this. I just wanted to bring it up real quick to show y'all. Because I was like, oh shit, this is really... I just saw the announcement of this not that long ago. So, um, another shoe I saw that was announced recently is the uh, Pace uh, collaboration with uh, A6 in the Gel Quantum 368, I guess, or 7. Of uh, colorway, I don't know if y'all seen that shoe. It's the. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick for y'all. While you're pulling that up, y'all uh, like the we talked about it a little while back, but the Anthony Edwards Adidas. Yeah, they straight. I mean, I like the Timberwolves colorway a lot. The light blue one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's He's not. Like, a, it's not a bad shoe, but. This one's the Je- the Pace and Asics collab. Hmm. Pace is a Brazilian brand. They're from Brazil, and I think it's owned by a Japanese guy that lives in Brazil. So it's like Japanese infusion with Brazilian like thing. It's a pretty nice shoe. Yeah. Um, I don't correct, hate it. I actually like it a lot. Uh, I really want this shoe now, and I believe it doesn't hasn't been released yet. If I'm correct, let me see. Mm, I've read this earlier, but uh, talk about cool shoes that are hard to get. Uh, Midas Sneakers is teaming up with Masterpiece Sound and Hombre Nino uh, for a New Balance MT580 Gore Tex. Those are nice. I saw that. I was Japan only release. I saw that and I sent it to a homie Daniel because he really likes uh, Gore-Tex stuff. Yeah, and I thought these were fire. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Clean. I love a five eighty. Uh, what else we got? Um, Needles Asics coming out. Uh, A6 EX 89. It's like a uh, low top basketball shoe. Needles, of course, a Nepenthes brand. Uh, usually do a basic black and purple and white and purple colorway. I don't hate it. You don't like it? I don't like it. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just a kind of like low top basketball shoe, uh, kind of uh, New Balance five fifty type shoe. It's got the needles butterfly on the back. There's a black and purple and a white and purple color. Um, next up, we got the first look at the New Balance, or I'm sorry, New Balance. Nike SB Valentine's Day. It's like a uh, 
I don't know. It's all right. I don't really like it that much. Like, it's probably the cop, but it's all right. But I agree with you. The Nike sign is kind of. Yeah, there's kind of like a uh, weird, like, overlay on the, like, Nike swoosh that I don't really like. But it's kind of just a bunch of muted, uh, like, wine type colors. The soles are clean, though. The inside uh, soles are clean. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know, know with the red shoestrings, I'm, they probably be popping though. Yeah, maybe. But uh, yeah, that's coming up Valentine's Day, one hundred twenty-five bucks apparently. Uh. Let me see. Oh yeah, J. Crew is supposedly doing a union collab. They had to collab with somebody. Even that shit was about fucking. That? that shit is mid. Who? J. Crew. Oh. You don't like J. Crew? It's mid. No. It's mid, like bro. It's mid. No. It's something I would wear like I'm going it's, to like a, it's like a upscale Old Navy. That's what I said. I wear it for like a wedding. Yeah. I don't think your mic's on yet. I'm not wearing it like to go out. Right. Let me turn on my mic. Mic check. Back. I thought you were talking about the Doja Skechers collab. The what? The Doja Cat and Skechers collab. Oh, no. Uh, well, that's why I didn't want to bring it up, but I thought that's what you were talking about. Hell no. My bad. What is this, the J. Crew and what? Union. Union. Union? Yeah. I've seen that. I like this uh, crew neck sweater. Mm hmm. I think it's that. Yeah, I like that. I would rock J. Crew. The only thing really cool to me that J. Crew did was they had that Nike kill shot as like an exclusive shoe for mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah. a long time. Y'all talk about the Carhartt uh, work in progress that's coming out soon? The new balances? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those. Bro, those are fire. I have the other ones that came out last year, the blue ones. I wore Uh them on the pod before. I like those ones better, the ones you have. Yeah. I like these because it's the Carhartt uh, color, I guess. Carhartt brown. I don't know if it's really Carhartt brown, but. I really like anything Carhartt does. Oh, here's a uh, boot you could uh, maybe go hiking in. Bro, leave Coming me soon, alone. a uh, winterized Spizike. Bro, what's up with you and these these what's you and these boots with me, bro? I'm over that shit. I'm just giving you. A I don't. I don't need. I told. It just you, popped up. I thought you might like it. I don't like no Jordan boots, bro. Jordan Spizike winterized. It's not actually a boot. It's just in a duck boot colorway. Same thing. It's a winterize. The winterize shoes are boots. It's just Gore-Tex. I wouldn't say it's a boot because it doesn't have a good track. You fucking bust your ass. You try to walk out on like an icy surface in it. You the one said, here's a boot for you. I was mean, I just saw it. I thought I'd bring it up. Nah, I'm good, bro. I was, I'm good. It's just You like the spizz like at all? The only the first couple colorways that came out. Yeah, is that the white colorway and the, the black colorway? Yeah, those are the only two I think. Them are the like only cool. two. I own both. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I had both, and I used to sometimes rock one out of each. You did? Yeah. You still have house. them? No, I threw them hoes away. I beat them hoes down. Uh, okay. Both pairs. Damn. Yeah, I have them. I didn't know they were that fire. I just got it because. Them they, hoes fire. I like them. I really like the Spizikes, but those two are my favorite. And I was like, bro, I want what, bro. So should, I want a white one or a black one. My dad told me, and I was like, well, I'll get the black one. Cause yeah. I that was to be cleaner. Right. And uh, then later on, my brother got the white ones, my older brother. We uh-huh. were the same shoe size, and he didn't like them. So he was like, give them So here. he just got another pair of shoes and uh-huh. just gave me those. So I have the white and the black. I was like, damn. Nice. Clutch. Sneaker dub right there. Nice. Used to rock them all the time. I wore the black ones more than the white ones. Yeah, the black. I, I like the black ones better. Yeah, I like the black ones. I wore those. The colors pop out more on those. I think I had them in middle school. 
Middle school? I think either that or fifth or sixth grade. I don't remember when I had them. It was definitely hard, though. I liked that. Yeah. But anyways, the the shoe I was talking about, the Carhartt 990 V6, it comes out sometime in October. So we don't have a release yet, but this is like two color, uh, two shoelaces, the Carhartt brown. It's, I, I liked it. I loved Carhartt was always my one of my favorite brands. Yeah. So I, I will probably always support Carhartt Same, no matter man. what. Uh, Carhartt is where it's at. So even if they do a bad collaboration, is it really that bad? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen a bad one yet. So no. I cannot wait to see more announcements on this shoe because I will be looking because I need to have both. What's that, both? Yeah, I had the blue ones both. already. I can get the I can get the uh the these brown ones. Another one I saw that goes coming out soon is the, the new uh, A6 and the, the Harry Suede pack for A6. I don't know if y'all seen that yet. And the gel uh, 1130. Trying to pull out on the big pa- on the big screen. Big screen shoddy. But there's two A6 collabs that are coming out. The This is the Harry Suede pack one. I don't know why am I. Oh, this is maybe because I'm on the internet. Let me get off your, your Wi-Fi real quick. That'd be a little bit. But. It's in the Piedmont gray and sand colorways. Uh, it's super hairy suede. If I can actually pull this up, if it actually works. I don't know why it's not working. It was working just fine earlier. Mm. There it goes. <coughs> this is the Piedmont gray. Yeah, I've seen those. Um, right there. Super hairy suede on the toe toe box area and then the a6 logo on the side medium paddle and the heel tab and then the gray the sand pack do you like any of these or i like the sand ones better sand ones are nice i will say the sand ones are really nice but yeah these come out sometime this month i believe uh not been released yet not have an announcement for the u.s yet Comes out for $110, though, so it's going to be somewhere in the A6 site soon. Another A6 that I saw was the A6 Above the Cloud collaboration, the GT2160. Uh, they actually had a nice, cool uh, ad campaign for the shoes where they take it apart. Mm. And then like uh, they bring put it back together and stuff and tell the story of the shoe. I like it. What really sells me, believe it or not, is the translucent green right there. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, the GT twenty one sixty. I like these a lot. Like, I need another pair of A six. I only have one pair. Yeah, I like the uh, the new Atmos Solomon shoes that's coming out on the seventh of October. Oh, so it's coming out this Saturday. Yeah. Oh, those are nice. I like those. You know, oh man, there's this, uh, that reminds me, there's this podcast that I was going to listen to, but I haven't listened to it yet. But it's about these three, they get three people from Japan that own sneaker stores in Japan, like the big sneaker stores in Japan, I think. Mm -hmm. And they bring them together to talk about how Solomon is, uh, the brand Solomon is getting, is the wave in Japan right now. Yeah, I can see that. But I didn't watch it yet because it's in Japanese, and I don't know if it has captions. Yeah. Because what's the point of me watching something in Japanese if I don't understand what they're saying? Right. I need some kind of caption <laughs> so I can at least hear what they're saying. Uh, speaking of some Japanese shit, uh, Sukoke is doing a collab on a, like, Ugg boot. Oh, I've seen that. Type shoe with... Uh, so that's how you pronounce it? Another Sukoke, yes, with oh. another... Uh, Nepenthes brand that was South Suico. to West 8 a uh, personal favorite brand of mine it's a Japanese fly fishing apparel company that's done collabs with like Supreme it's stuff. waterproof uh yeah oh the black ones go hard what is that the black low top it's a Sukoke mule mm. Uh, collab with South to West 8. Catch me fishing in these. Fuck hey dudes, I'm wearing these. Hey dudes. 
Y'all own a pair of Hades? Hell no. Nah. Damn. I don't. Uh, no, nah, I don't think I, bought, I would ever get a pair. That's of their like uh, kind of tribal print. Yeah, I, that's the one that I was saying that was fire. Like some airport shoes. I will wear those yeah. at the fit. I wear I'm those sure they're fishing. very cozy. Except well, fishing. if I was fishing, I'd maybe get the high top one. No, I'm at the bank. I'm not going to be in uh, I ain't that in pen- I ain't that uh, into fishing when I'm like in the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not that. I'm not that good. I caught two fish. Well, that's what life. the brand's for, though. They yeah. make like uh, fly fishing stuff where you get in the water. I've seen some people fly fish. That's badass. Hard, though. Hard as shit to do. Yeah. It's a cool uh, little brand. Ooh, who's putting these ugly ass toes on my ad? I just got the exact same ad. Yeah, yeah, no, which you, you know which one I'm talking about. Oh no, and, and Pokey News. <laughs> this is their Supreme Club. That's nice. So, uh, that's hard. I rocked the shit out of that. You said Pokey News. Yeah, Pokemon News. Uh, po- uh, no, this really doesn't do a podcast, but it's doing something in, in the era, I guess, in the culture, is that Pokemon did a exhibit with Van Gogh for in the Amsterdam Museum, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Him, yeah. And it's pretty much videos and pictures of uh, of like Van Gogh paintings, but with Pokemon in it. Damn. And it's actually pretty fire. Uh, they're actually, if you go to the po- to the actual uh, um, the actual uh, gallery, they uh, they give you a, a Pokemon card. It's a Pikachu and the Van Gogh hat, mm. and him just sitting there like the painting. So, um, see if I pull it up right here. So this is the famous painting of Van Gogh. Yeah. That's the po- a Pikachu version. That's clean. That car is going for hundreds of dollars right now, three hundred right now. Damn! And I think they just give it to you for free if you just were going to the gallery exhibit. And it's in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yeah. It has a bunch of merch actually with it, uh, whether you could buy paintings and stuff. Yeah. But the thing is, everything's sold out uh, unless you go to the store because on the Poke Center where you buy all things Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, it's sold out. I bet everything's sold out. But not only that. I saw this the other day too. Pokemon uh, collaborated with uh, uh, MA Sleepwear. If it actually fucking goes, it's the um, uh, Gelato Peaks uh, Cozy Sleepwear. So pretty much, you got the Pokemon, the Kirby, Jigglypuff, and the Snorlax. Wake up, nigga. That's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, that sleep work tight. Yeah, I, I tried to look what's they only go up to XL, so I couldn't buy. But they sold out. They even got like the little sleep mask and the sleep hair hair uh things for girls. Uh huh. What has like po- Pikachu's ears or Snorlax ears. Yeah. Yeah. I show some people at work that are Pokemon fans are like, bro, I need this. But shit's expensive. Right. Like two two, three hundred dollars. For that? For some pajamas. Ah, I see. Yeah. They don't have too much. Seventeen dollars for the cheapest thing for two hundred and eighty dollars is the most expensive thing. See, nah. So Gelato Peak. I guess it's luxury sleepwear. See, I'm not I'm not at that level yet. Nah. Nah, where I get luxury sleepwear. Nah, I'm not spending two hundred dollars on sleepwear. Hey man, I wanna get to that level I, though. I know, right? If oh. I'm gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna just roll the urine. <laughs> Oh man, no! I'd rather I, if I could spend two hundred and fifty dollars on the set on sleepwear. I'll it would be great. the Pokemon, or yeah. would you? No, I'll probably I'll get something else because exactly. I won't have my. But the only reason why I won't get the Pokemon is because they don't have my size. Oh, okay, only oh. goes up to an XL. Um, something that's rumored to drop uh, oh. this week, so this Thursday when you're hearing this. Oh yeah, is the Supreme, Supreme Clog Posit? Yeah, or Court Posit? Court yeah. Posit. I fuck with these. It's a tennis shoe. I've I was looking at pairs of these uh, on eBay. Like they have just any type of like kind of like they have like a red. Uh, I feel like they're gonna be hot on my feet. It's just a. Uh, it look kind of like low fuck. top. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can find. Going to try to cop. Uh, maybe. I probably won't get them. If I get them, it would be like off resale. I don't think they're gonna go that crazy. 
Ooh, that was nasty. My bad. Uh, but yeah, the red like... ones though. Anything red, I like. Uh oh, big Pyro over there. Hey, chill. <laughs> I was with uh, big, the big T's yesterday. <laughs> if, if you, you understand what I mean when I say big T's? I know, later. I know. You know what I mean. The they big, are all right. The Live Strong. The yellow ones is nice. The, the Armstrongs, the steroids. Silver ones are all right. Yeah. They have some clean ones. Silver looks good with that type of material, though. Damn, what hey, kind uh, of. Oh, no, it moved. Shit. Hey, uh. That scarab. Kind of, that's probably like the, the best color where scarab I Scarab, go hard. Because it's like an actual foam pilot colorway. That might be the supreme one, because that's the yeah, it's the supreme right there. So it was an older collab, or the one that's coming out. Yeah, it would be the one that's coming out. They've never done this model before. Oh, bro, Gelato Peak, the fa- the fancy f- uh, lo- uh, sleepwear, has a collection with the uh, peanuts. They got a Snoopy hoodie. What the fuck? I might I might need to give me a Snoopy hoodie. Oh no no! I just snoopy sleep sleepwear. Yeah, yeah, like like a pajamas and shit. But I got a little. Hey, this how clean though. Uh, plus snoopy. How much is it? Hundred fifty. That's a good like little thing to put in the house. Uh, I got some background on the court posit if y'all want it. Yes. In two thousand two, Nike brought the infamous foam posit material to the sport of tennis. Spawning the Nike court posit. It was a short lived and not well received by tennis players, with Andre Agassi himself refusing to wear it, wear the shoe. Mm. Not Andre Ag- Agassi. Considering the amount of wear it takes for the foam posit to truly break in, yeah. it's not a surprise that the foam molded sneaker failed to win the hearts of tennis players over time. Yeah. However, it appears the, that the Notorious shoe is making a return somewhat in 2023. Notorious? Revealed on the Instagram by pro tennis player and Nike athlete Carlos Alcazaras. Fuck Carlos. Okay. <laughs> did, he, did he win the U.S. Open? Uh, I just went to the his Instagram. Your mom was in the fuck stands. I guess he won Wimbledon. Uh. Oh, he called then. And uh You don't uh, no no random person wins Wimbledon. No. Nah. You gotta be cold. I'm not I'm not that cold. He's from Spain. España. They talk like they got the little fruity in Spain. What? Yeah, they have a lisp. Uh, so you know how we say Barcelona? Yeah. They say Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ibiza is Ibiza. Ibiza. Yeah. Sus. Yeah, man. You know why they do that? I don't. It's because one of the kings, one of the Louis, had a list, and they didn't want him to feel bad. So, so and plus, if you made fun of the king, you were off with your head. Off with your head. So everybody started talking like him. The guillotine king. Yeah. So they went. Uh, so when he he talked with the list. Oh no. And so they're like, not nah, the the royalty, the nobles talks with lists. So everybody started talking like the nobles. Yeah. If you don't want to get killed. Yeah. So. A uh, different shoe, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was Federer's line was the Zoom Vapor X, but he did a uh, oh, yeah, uh, nice. foam posit like model. He was the one that had all the Jordan Nike stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You see these more? Damn, that blue pop. Yeah. If Supreme did that blue, that'd be fire. Yeah. I have another shoe myself that I'm actually looking forward to getting when it has a U.S. drop. It's the New Balance uh, collab with uh, South Korean brand Climb As You Love or Kale for an outdoor pack, uh, the 610 and the uh, Fresh Foam X More Trail V3. 610 is covert green layers with Harry Suede, uh, ribstop esque base layer, and a mesh toe box for breathability. Has subtle co-branding of the Cal Mountain logos and collar on the tongue and tab. Uh, see, and then I'll show y'all that one. This is it. The six, uh, 
to 610, so it is a trail shoe. I who I own this pair of 610, and that's the New Balance uh, Fresh Foam X, the more trail three. So that's more of a, I guess, more of a more functional version because mm-hmm. the other one's more like looks like lifestyle. This is more functional, yeah. This is like if you're really running trails, right? If you're out there trail running, not road running. <laughs> But I like it. I mean, my opinion, I like the shoe. I am for sure going to try to cop. It did release today as we're recording this in South Korea because it's a South Korean brand. Yeah. But there's has an anticipated U.S. drop, so i got to look at the New Balance and see what's going on over there whenever they release it or anything. Pew, pew, pew. But it's, uh, they will re- uh, probably release it through like Instagram or something. So I'm really looking forward for that shoe. Uh, climb as you love. I've never heard of the brand. Y'all heard of that brand? Never. No. Yeah. So I'm gonna look into that brand. I mean, I'm pretty sure nothing there is gonna fit me. Mm. But who knows? Uh, who knows? Because I don't. Who? Uh, what you call? Yeah. They might have big people. Mm-hmm. They might. Who not. knows? Well, folks, we gave you some extra just because I don't know if uh, you'll get that first part. <laughs> but uh, get us, get at us on uh, Patreon. We're going to talk about do the right thing. Holla at your boy. Goodbye.